guys, it's Agent J and I'm back again today to do a video on BlackBerry Assistant or Intelligent Assistant. Uh, many of you guys who follow me on BBM channels know me to call it Barry and I'll keep calling it Barry because I just love the name Barry for Assistant. Anyway, so let's jump right into it. So this is 10.3.0.1052. Uh, links on my blog, links down below if you want to know how to install it. There's no watermarks on this build, so that's excellent. Apparently, many uh, websites that do BlackBerry stuff say that this is going to be the build that's going to come with the BlackBerry Passport. So anyway, so this is BlackBerry Assistant right here. Uh, on the video, it looks like a little square. And uh, it looks like this with a little magnifying glass. And when you open up, you feature, you see all the squares and everything that you could do. And if you tap on the eye, it basically shows you everything that's possible from setting an alarm straight down to telling you the local weather or even updating your Twitter and Facebook. So previously, uh, on, one, one, on one of my blog posts, I posted all the voice assistant commands. So I'm going to use that as my uh, cheat sheet. So right now I'm baking bread, so I'm going to set a timer for about 5 to 10 minutes and uh, so it doesn't burn. And let's try that out. So I'm going to use the middle pause play button. Set a timer for 5 minutes. Would you like to search your device for set a timer for 5 minutes? Set a timer for five minutes. The voice request wasn't understood. Would you like to search your device for... Set an alarm for five minutes. Do you want to save this alarm for... So that was... It was not that smart, but timer alarm, same thing. Find me the nearest Indian restaurants in Brampton. So I live in Ottawa, so let's see what, what comes up. So you see the Brampton Here comes up. And then you, you actually like see choose? it's actually re relatively smart. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on one of these. And let's see if it allows me to navigate to there. So it pulls up the number. Firstly, to actually call the restaurant, you could favorite it, go, and then map. Uh, that's <laughs> that's pretty friggin' cool. <laughs> uh, if you pull the map up, it actually launches the application. But if you hit go, it launches the navigation, and it goes from your location straight to where you would like to go. Uh, apparently, there's a bug there, so we'll report that. So let's try this again. Hit go. Getting root. And you can actually see it's going to take me four and a, four hours and twenty three minutes to get to the location, and uh, it's getting the GPS. And I guess once you hit start, so that's pretty good. It's good for navigation. That's really nice. Navigate to twenty two Carling Avenue, Ottawa. So it pulls up all the information as well. The voice is very accurate. So. Now, I'm, what's the closest tourist destination around me? Searching the internet for what's the closest tourist destination around me. And it uses Bing. What shows are playing at the Mayfair Theater? Send a beam message to Sabrina. Sabrina, what's the closest tourist destination around me? How's your day going? It's been a while since we last spoke. Edit the message. What would you like your BPM message to say? 
Hey Sabrina, how are you? Did you enjoy the Red Blacks game on last Saturday? Question mark. Send. Your BPM message has been sent. Send a text message. Send a text message to Steve. There's no one named Steve, by the way. Steve Martin does not have a phone number. Would you like to send a Twitter message to Steve Martin? Send a Twitter message to James. Hey James, this message is being written on Blackberry Assistant. It's pretty epic. I hope you try it out. I wonder if it's gonna fill up the 140 characters if it's gonna tell me to adjust. I hope you try it out. Send. So one thing that I've been noticing is uh, the more you use the assistant, the phone actually really heats up. So uh, you guys definitely want to keep track that it might be bad for battery <laughs> okay so let's do a universal search what's the height of the cn tower let's see so <clears throat> yeah cn tower meaning like the big building so what's the height of the empire state building Let's try YouTube. YouTube, Katy Perry, Dark Horse. And then you could play and listen to your favorite Katy Perry song because she is awesome. So let's so I hold down the button there and it actually works through the app so hit cancel so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try one more thing so you can hear the music play in the background something that uh, iPhones Androids and anyone else can't really do thing I tried uh, searching for Parliament building and that did not work so I'm gonna try navigating to it again navigate me to Parliament building So the Parliament Building of uh, Canada is actually located in the capital, Ottawa, and it, none of the options came up there. So uh, that's pretty interesting and sort of weird because it's a big tourist destination. I'm going to try another one. The third one. One, two, three. So, you guys saw that. And you could hear the music still playing in the background, which is <laughs> pretty epic. Uh, another neat, neat, cool little trick you could probably do is flip them around. Navigate me to Toronto Zoo. Navigate me to the fifth one. So Toronto, three search finish. So it's actually pretty smart to actually go through each one. That's really good. So, um, call dad. Six one three seven seven seven. Seven 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 nine. Send a text message to six one three eight nine zero nine five five seven.
Tell me a joke. Who are you? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Who developed you? You guys can see it's it's capable of doing nearly every single thing you could possibly want a personal assistant or a voice assistant to actually do. Send an email to Aaron Smith. How are you? What would you like your language to say? Remind me to take out the trash tomorrow and call Carla at 4 p.m. Also note to self that I will pick up some milk and can you get the bread? So I was just trying to confuse it. Let's see what happens. Cancel. Would you like to send your message now? Cancel. The voice request wasn't understood. Would you like more time to move on this alarm to gloves? 3.54 p.m. Do you want to set this alarm for 3.54 p.m. in the woods? Yes. Move my 3.54 p.m. alarm to, to 4 p.m. Your alarm was changed to 4 p.m. What time does the sun rise tomorrow? The sunrise for Ottawa, Canada on Friday will be at 6.12 a.m. Book a flight to California. Searching internet for a flight to California. Open Blackberry Blend. Opening Blackberry Blend. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to see if if it's capable of doing much more modern stuff, and by that I mean like take a selfie, let's see if it does that. Take a selfie. Opening camera. <laughs> wow, so that's pretty, that's pretty decent, you know. Uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. Got the panorama there as well. Search Amazon App Store for Tyler Florence's new book. Searching Amazon for Tyler Florence's new book. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. And redirects you to, <laughs> to his new book. Wow. That's really cool. Open Instagram for me. Notice I use the word the term for me. Opening Instagram. So you can open Android applications if you want. Open Twitter. Opening Twitter. Open my last BBM message. Reply. What would you like your BBM message to say? You look phenomenal. Open my last email. The message is from Astrology. 
Open my last notification. So you guys seen what it's capable of doing and it's a bunch more that I left out. Um, let me know down in the comment section down below what you think. Is it better than Siri? Is it better than Google Now? Does it rival Cortana? Um, personally, I think it beats out Google Now and Siri. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button. It tells me that you guys are liking this sort of videos or not really. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye.